Welcome to another beautiful day here in southwestern Ontario. Today, well, we're going back in time. So, fellas, get your brill cream out. Grab your best girl. We're going to head down to the hot. My demographics are between 25 and 35. Most of you don't know what hop is. Or bro cream. Alright guys, we're in the shop today. We are going to be restoring a pump. We're going to go from this to this. I'm going to show you how we did it. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video. That's Fiery Fitness right here in Tilbury, Ontario. We all know health is important. Stop in and see Jen today. Hey, welcome back to a late night video. I mean, it's late. It's 1127. It's not in the morning. It's at night. Have a look. It's dark. I mean, I'm almost scared of the dark. Now, I got to tell you, you guys have a look up there. You see all that oil and gas up there? Between me and my pop, we used to have a lot. I mean, a lot of oil and gas stuff. And vintage stuff, not the reproduction stuff. Uh, nothing up there is reproduction. But we also used to restore gas pumps. Not the big ones. I mean, those are some high dollar stuff. But we used to restore pumps like this one here. This is a gas boy pump. These are, you know, you can pump gas with it or you can pump uh, lubricants with it. I had to put some uh, serious lubrication in the situation because those nuts have been on there for a long time and we're going to leave that alone. This stuff's probably 70 years old. Uh, my father got this from my uncle. Uh, he got quite a few pumps from my uncle and I now have the pumps that are just sitting around so I figured time to do a little project and restore one. Also, very excited. found a marketplace and do not tell Jen. Check out the barrel. Oh yeah, so the idea is going to be is to restore that pump, paint that barrel. I got myself a vintage, well half vintage because the barrel is not vintage. But the other part is vintage. Just not sure whether I'm going to go Sinclair, Golf, or Texaco. It seems like everybody's got Texaco, so I might try something a little odd. Maybe a white rose. Let's get moving. Alright guys, I already went ahead and separated the bottom half. This is what's going to go into the top of the barrel. Remove the bolts for the top, and they're all over here in the tray. They all got to be cleaned. Well, that's separated rather easy. And off comes the top. We got quite a bit of rust in there, so we got to clean all that up, clean the inside out. Now this cut kind of separated into four pieces. So I got the the bottom, the top. So if I take these bolts out of the side, there's only four. I should be able to get this broke into four pieces. The old DeWalt doesn't want to hit that very well, do they? I remember, these nuts and bolts have been on here for probably 70 years. There we go. How do you like my Kent County dinner jacket? I wore this one day and somebody called it a Kent County dinner jacket. So I went with it. So much corrosion on here that the wrenches don't want to fit on. Give me a second. Let's see what we got. We have to throw some muscle into this one here. So bear with me because I'm going to grunt. Oh my God. What in the world? We're gonna we're gonna get serious here. We're gonna get serious. Did that break it loose? <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh 
think I might have got it. I think. Oh boy. Okay. Probably going to have to get out some heavy artillery here. I do not like using vice grips on here because I don't want to strip them, but y'all ain't leaving me a whole lot of choice here. Not to mention, I can get a little more leverage. I think it just, it did, it just came, I got pulled my muss. Just pulled my tricep. On a 7 16th bolt, that's a half inch long. Are you kidding me? See, I'm chewing up the nuts. On the hair, see this, messing up the thread, not the threads, but it's messing up the, uh... oh my God. Well, let me show y'all. Folks, this guy here just made me sweat. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if we can get this thing separated. <laughs> separated. Gotta keep them separated. Now, you may be wondering, where's the uh, pump? It goes in here. It's probably about uh, 20 inches long, right? It's over there on the floor attached to another pump. I didn't forget about it. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this thing has not been separated in a very long time. Uh, pro tip, when you're using a wire brush, Always put a glove on. That thumb there will tell you why. this side cleaned really well because this is where the gas boy label is now that's a metal plate that's that's riveted onto there I'm not going to take that off because that's just going to cause me more problems but other than that it's cleaned up not too bad what I'm probably going to do is hit this with a degreaser tonight let it sit this is the bulk of the work right here we're trying to get this knocked out and then we're going to hit the barrel so I'll see you guys in a bit all right guys welcome back to another night in the shop we got our green we got our white this is going to be for the barrel as is the green probably going to need a little more to finish the barrel so it's going to be green white and then green the pump itself we got it all masked off we got it clean we got, as, got it as clean as i could get it um these pipe fittings will not come out no matter what I try and do, so I've masked around it. Not that it's really going to matter a whole lot, because I'm just going to paint that black. Got him on the bench. We're going to give him a shot and see what happens. Hopefully I don't paint everything but the part. Let me move you around so you guys can see it. Get to it. Part doesn't look too bad. We got a few spots we missed here. Give it the old rattle can special. All right. Let that dry. We'll go on to this one here. Doesn't look bad either. Out of the big one. Let's 
get you guys in a little closer here. So here's the main body. Not turning out too bad. Hard to see with the lighting I got going on in here. It's going to be the bottom. This here is obviously the top. All right, now that's just one coat. We're going to let that dry. Obviously, that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to have to come in tomorrow. I'm doing this right now. Again, it's late at night. It's probably about quarter to 12, almost midnight. I got to do it when the weather's good. So right now, it's not too bad outside. It's starting to get a little cool. So I'm going to let this sit here. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to come back tomorrow, put another coat on it. And then, if it's warm enough, I'm going to paint the barrel. And I'll show you all that. That's going to take the most paint. Uh, probably, yeah, you can see I got it masked out here. So basically, this is going to be green. This is going to be white. And this is going to be green again. And the uh, pump goes through the top here. It didn't take long. This was already prepped to be painted. So just a matter of putting the coat on. Leave it, let it sit, let it dry. And we'll come back tomorrow and hit it again. Rattle can. Can't beat the rattle can. And guys, I'm not looking for a museum quality finish. This thing here is going to be parked outside my shop, outside the door, in the weather, in the cold, in the rain. So I just want it to look good and look old. That's it. All right, we got the paints all dry. I took the masking off. I'm going to paint these arms black with a brush, or I may leave it rusted, and I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. If the paint wants to come off. There we go. Gas boy pump. <clears throat> these things here have been brushed with a wire wheel. Didn't come out very good at all. Now... If you look at this real close, you're going to see different little marks in it here and there where I couldn't get in the creases. Again, guys, like I said, I'm going to leave this outside. So it's going to get weathered. I also decided not to clean my nuts and bolts. So I'm going to leave the heads just the way they are and the nuts the way they are. But I am going to clean the threads up. So we're going to do that before we get the assembly going. Alright guys, we got all the threads cleaned up on the bolts. I didn't clean the nuts up. Kind of is what it is. The reason for that, I'm not cleaning the top and I'm not cleaning the nuts. The handle that goes on here, attaches here, this one's missing the handle. I do have one here. What I want to do, and I thought about making painting these black. It's kind of, you know, they would look good black. But I want to leave a little bit of the old on there. So I'm not going to paint these. I'm just going to leave them rusted. And the same with the nuts. The handle... Might need a little bit of work. I got to get it off another pump to put it on this one. This one was in better shape of the two, which is why I'm working this one here. So let's try and get this thing put back together. And we'll see how it goes. The first part we're going to assemble is the top. All right, there's the four corners put in for the top. The other reason I didn't paint these, because the minute you put a wrench on them, the paint peels off. Also, I thought I'd leave it a little rusty. So like that's rusty. I may leave this just because it'll match the nuts and the bolts. Anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of these put in and then we're gonna talk about the pump handle. See if we can make that work. All right, there's the top attached. I don't think it looks too bad with the rusty nuts and bolts in there. Like I said, I may leave this the same, but I think it looks pretty good. It's showing its age, and that's what I kind of want. I don't want it to look new. I want it to look used. Uh, I know it looks a little newer with the green paint, but over time, that paint's going to fade. So now let's get the bottom put on, and we're going to work on the arm. All right, we got the bottom attached. The top is attached. Gas Boy logo right there. I'm liking it with the rusty nuts. I mean, not many people like rusty nuts, but but again, this is not a showpiece. It's something we're just trying to clean up and make a Sinclair pump out of. 
So now we're going to have to work on the, let me show you that here real quick. All right, so there's another pump here. Same thing, it's a gas boy. The uh, logo is pretty much shot on the front here. The arm is not in too bad a shape. I might be able to make it work. We're going to see if we can get it off here, paint it up, clean it up, and get it put on this one over here. That's the plan. Just hopefully we can get it off. It's been soaking in oil. Like I sprayed this in oil last week, so hopefully that helps. This might be pretty hard to see. These bolts go through here and here. They appear to be held on with a cotter pin. So if I get them cotter pins out, I should be able to knock these pins out and get my handle. Well, I have successfully managed to break these small cotter pins off. It's not such it's not a surprise. I mean, let's be real, this thing is older than the dirt it came out of. Looks like we got one. Oh, almost got one. Come on now. All right. We got one pin out. One pin to go. And that one's not very happy. I can tell he's not happy. He's not smiling at all. Well, we got the handle painted. It was pitted pretty bad, so you can still see the pock marks in it, but we did the best we could. We uh, sanded it down with a flapper wheel and a little bit of sandpaper, but it just didn't want to come out. It's okay, though. We're going to use it the way it is. And clearly, we're going to have to clean these up a little bit. We're going to be riding a wire wheel, and do not forget your glove, because it'll hurt. words of the Pot County legend, we're going to put some lubrication in the situation. A little persuasion. Okay. Oof, she's stiff. There you go. We got her moving now. What we're going to do is hit that with some lubrication as well. There we go. All right. All you gotta do is put a couple of cotter pins in here and we're golden. Now I gotta work on the barrel. This is pretty much done. I'll bring you all down here and let you have a look at this pump. All right, there we go. So obviously I left some of it rusty like I said I was gonna do. So this is the same. These are just cleaned up a little bit, that's all. I cleaned up the bolts and the nuts. And it is a gas boy. Here's the handle. The handle needs to be cleaned up yet. That's not a big deal. Now what I think we're going to do is we're going to paint the top of the barrel. Now I'm running out of time here. And the reason I'm running out of time is it's starting to get cold here. So I painted this this afternoon, the handle, and it took a while to dry. I'm going to hang the top for the barrel, paint it. It's going to be green because it's, it's going to be green because it's the Sinclair colors. And then now we're going to let that dry overnight. We're going to see how it turned out in the morning. But right now, let's get set up and paint the top. There we go. All right. That's it. Better stop there. Whew. We got runs. Oh, we got runs. I never claimed to be a professional painter. Usually pretty good with a rattle can, but today I appear to be out to lunch. Now what I should have done is sprayed that flat. Rather than hang it up, I should have laid it down flat on a board and just sprayed it. I had room to do it. I'm not quite sure why I didn't.
a buff out. Looks like we got the runs. Did you hate it when you get the runs? Alright, I'm going to finish this up and I'll be right back. Well, I think the pump looks pretty good. Still got the Gas Boy label on it. I left some of the rust on there. Uh, not because I was lazy. I just wanted to leave a little bit of the patina on there. Same with the nuts and bolts. What we got to do now is got a piece of pipe right here. The problem is the pipe's not threaded. This is threaded. I'm going to shave a little bit off of here so that it just fits inside there tight so that it's not going to come out. Then we got to get that to sit in here. The problem we're going to have is as that sits in the bottom there, there's nothing to stop it from going side to side. So at the top, the pump is going to wobble back and forth, which we don't want. So my solution for that is I've got this piece of plywood here with the... Uh, rounded edges on well it's not rounded yet I gotta cut it I'm gonna cut that so that bear with me around here and around the top so that's gonna go in there down the uh, the first lip or the bottom lip it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna drill a hole in the center here so that that'll fit through and theoretically that's gonna keep it stable while it sits in the bottom so that the top of the pump doesn't fall to one side or the other. I also got the top, so I'm going to cut a center hole in that as well. Uh, the only other issue I might come across is weight, because this pump weighs, I'm going to guess, maybe 15 pounds, so it's going to be top heavy on the barrel. I might have to put some sand in the bottom down there. We're going to hopefully get this project done today. I am still waiting on the decal. Uh, whenever it comes out of the Amazon rainforest, I'll get it, but until then, I don't have it. Alright, so I'm going to find the center point here. So I've got 14. We're going to go right here. And that is 4 across. So we'll go right here. So that's going to be the center for our inch and a quarter hole. And we're going to do the same thing on here. This one's going to be a little trickier to find the center. We'll make it work though. And that'll be our center for here. dig that out of there later all right show you what I've done here this is in there now tight obviously I cut that a little short so I've got a fork on each end that's holding it in on that level which is it's not there to support anything it's just there to stop this from going just there to stop the uh, pump from falling side to side works for me and you're not going to see it from the street all right, next job, I got to hit this with a flap disc, get this all cleaned up because it's got to be painted. And I got to take a little bit off of the edge here, just all the way around, so that it'll uh, fit in the bottom of the pump. All right, we got her uh, knocked down and cleaned up. Just from here up, it's going to be sticking out of the barrel, so I'm not too concerned about down here. I was hoping to get this small enough where I could use that to cut its own thread in here, but that's not going to be the case. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to kind of give it a little persuasion to go in there and stay in there, which is not going to be a problem. But now we need to get this to the paint booth.
let that dry in the paint booth there for a little bit once that's dry we're gonna persuade it to go in here and by persuade I mean persuade well fresh I'll get here fresh out of the paint booth now we got to get this to go in here with a little persuasion I know it's not threaded but that was threaded and it doesn't want to cut the thread so we're gonna help it out a little bit stand by and yes I know guys put threads on it and thread it in it would be that simple and it is simple cut some new threads screw it in I don't have a threader a thread cutter I don't have a thing to cut threads. That's why we're doing it this way. All right, update. We had to get out I don't give a damn because the pipe was too long. So we shortened it up. It's now resting on the bottom and I moved the bottom cross plate to the bottom ring. I think it might give a little more stability. Now we're gonna put the top on, put the pump on. See what we got. All right, guys, there we are. What do you think? Now, it is not done yet. I have ordered a Sinclair gas decal, 9 inch decal. Is it decal? Decal? I guess that depends on where you're from. Anyway, I ordered a 9 inch Sinclair gas decal that's going to go right down here. Like I said, I'm waiting on the Amazon jungle to send it to me. Again, I said before, it's not a museum, not a show quality restoration. That wasn't what I was going for. But I wanted it to get old with the Sinclair colors. So, anyway, it's been a multi-day project. So this cost me a total of about 45 bucks to build this thing here. And it's going to sit out in front of my shop right there. And I got a couple other signs I got to put out there as well. So, it was a fun project. I like doing it. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you guys... If any of you restore gas pumps, oil pumps, um, any vintage gas and oil stuff, leave me a comment down below. I'd love it. If you have a channel, let me know because I'd love to go check out your channel as well. Hit that subscribe button, like button, share button. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Later. I like it. Get your grill cream out, grab your best grill, we're going to head down to the hop. I, I think my demographics are between 25 and 35, most of you don't know what a hop is. Or grill cream.